Hi, children. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> okay. Good evening. Yes. Video is not clear. Is it so? Children, video is not clear. मैं बहुत अच्छा हूं बच्चों अच्छा जस्ट अ मिनट जस्ट अ मिनट जस्ट वेट वेनु Ah, now the voice is clear. Manchi? Voice Manchi? Okay, good. Very good. Okay, children. So, let us uh, talk few things about what we need for preparation of the NEET examination. What do you think? How many books are required for preparation of NEET examination as far as biology is concerned? 200, 300, 400, how many books are required for you to become doctor? Six hundred. Okay. Okay. Yes, children. Our basic book is the NCERT. NCERT book is the fundamental book that we require as our basic book to study. So that is why I say, <coughs> that is why I say that the NCERT for a neat aspirant, NCERT is like the holy book. It's like the holy book of a priest. What you say, the Ram Charitramanas or the Bible or the Holy Quran. Like that, you have, you have to give respect to NCERT as we give respect to our holy books. Which holy book we read? Okay. So there are different religions have their different holy books. So we give respect to those books. So it means we will have to give respect to NCERT. But it does not mean just put it like this and keep it on the shelf. I have given respect. Respect means you have to read each and every line of that book. And you have to follow each and every line of that book. And if there is... Uh, you, can get, uh, you can get NCRT books in your local shops also. You go to any uh, local book shop where uh, these course books are sold and you ask them, they will tell you. Otherwise, you can also order online, but I think it is better if you see or go on a shop and see and then purchase. Voice is not clear. I want to know voice is not clear for everyone or only for one of you people. Ah, it's good. So I think one child who is saying voice is not clear, probably your uh, internet is weak because all other students are getting good one. Huh. Now you see your, your IP books are uh, almost the syllabus is same. Maybe few topics in 11th and 12th that may be there, but syllabus is same. For example, physiology in as far as I know, your IP book it is in the class 12th and in the NCRT it is class 11th. But as far as, as far as 
the basic content is concerned basic content is same how now someone has said sir is the ncert enough now when you will come to us for offline classes during do in your class you will be given proper notes okay of course those notes will be based on ncert but of course 10 20 percent extra of what is in the ncert so for a study purpose your ncert book and your class notes is more than sufficient okay then you will also be provided a study module study package okay in which chapters are given so not only ch complete chapter is given but you will find different set of questions for practice exercise one two three four and different exercise have different types of questions different flavor of questions different difficulty level of questions so once you study your class note your ncrt and then you the uh, question from the study package your subject is done many students fall prey to so many uh, these guides don't don't be so much dependent on these guides okay okay so don't be so much so better focus in your class and best thing is children if you are 100 percent focused in your offline class when it starts and you write whatever notes the teacher is giving write down those notes properly and the very same day you revise those notes and try to do the questions which are given in our study module from those what you have studied today i think that is more than sufficient because we have a very, very, very strong testing system. Whatsoever has been taught you in the week, from Monday to Saturday, on Sunday there is a test. So weekly test makes the things very, very much reinforced. It is not that a test is being held after two months. And you by that time you have forgotten everything. Okay? A means of taxonomy, someone is asking, I am telling you, don't worry. Okay, yes, I am coming to that also. Because this is also very important that when you come to curriculum, that is important. So you should have NCRT books, fine. Then you in the class, you need to study the notes. You study the class very focused and write down the notes. And the study package that you will get, it has a different set of questions, different exercise of questions. And try to solve those questions whatsoever you have studied in the class. If you follow this routine on the daily basis, no one can stop you from becoming a doctor. Okay. The college, a college provides a study package, a study material, which is of course also based on NCRT. But NCRT you can purchase from the market or you can get it online. Okay. A price I don't know because I am not in the economic part of that. Okay, that you will you come you will come to know what is it. Okay. So I do not know the price of the package. I can tell you the value of the package, but I cannot tell you the price of the package. Value of the package is enormous. Price, uh, you can, uh, but it will not be a, a, a bomb. Don't worry for that. Okay. Achha, someone is asking how many lessons are there in 11th botany. Okay, let us see. If we come to 11th botany, the living world, second is biological classification, third is plant kingdom. Fourth, morphology of flowering plants. Fifth, anatomy of flowering plants. Sixth, sell the unit of life. Seventh, bio 
molecules eighth cell cycle and cell division ninth photosynthesis in higher plants 10th respiration and 11th plant growth and development earlier there were two more chapters earlier children there were two more chapters one in the physiology portion one chapter was transport in plants and another was mineral nutrition so these two chapters transport in plants and mineral nutrition have been removed from the last year so as per now these chapters if they are added then we will uh, become uh, we will come to know then we will inform you but as such these are the chapters sir per day how many pages of ncrt do we have to read no children it does not depend upon the per day how many pages it depends upon the type of topic suppose the topic is of photosynthesis so photosynthesis requires a lot of understanding so maybe if you are studying photosynthesis per day maybe three pages only but if you are studying morphology morphology is more descriptive so you may cover per day five pages so number of pages covered does not depend upon just number of pages depends upon the intricacy of the topic of course where there is lot of understanding is involved there it will move slowly where more descriptive part is involved it will move faster okay okay no no i am saying don't accept ncrt no books you have to purchase right now okay only ncrt you have to purchase right now if you want to purchase or even after coming here you can purchase the ncrt no other books right now you have to purchase okay because these are our okay and this is for boards also same topics are ncrt and same topics are for the board it is not that for different you have to study different the only thing is as far as i know that these topics last three topics in your ip board is in the class 12th that is the only difference otherwise there is no much difference hmm. animal kingdom is in zoology we are having botany class beta na that is why i have not written animal kingdom okay so animal kingdom you will animal physiology animal kingdom that you will study in the zoology class uh, someone is asking what is the meaning of morphology you are seeing me what you are seeing me from outside is my morphology okay so external appearance of organisms how they look what is their height how suppose you are seeing a flower what is the height of the plant whether it is hard woody or it is soft what is the shape of the leaf what is the shape of the, what type of root it has what type of stem it has from external this is called as morphology okay which a uh, book ha physical appearance and when you go inside and study internal makeup then it becomes anatomy so external appearance is morphology internal cellular makeup is anatomy okay fine okay ha anatomy is there na beta anatomy of flowering plants so anatomy is the study of internal structure and morphology is study of external structure okay anatomy means you will cut a section through the plant and you will see the arrangement of cells in that this is called as the anatomy what is the unit of our life what are we made up of what are we made up of cells na so how the cells are arranged in the internal body that study is called as anatomy okay okay yeah labs are here don't worry labs are here okay okay children now let us see one more thing ah i want to move actually you see children my width, width is too much so when i stand i occupy a lot of space so that is why i am moving
Biomolecules means which chemicals the body is made up of. You know, the chemicals found in biological system is carbohydrates, proteins, fats, nucleic acids. Okay. So these chemicals, carbon containing compounds that are found in living body of living beings are called as biomolecules. Okay. How a plant is able to synthesize food with the help of chlorophyll that we study in photosynthesis. Now how this food is oxidized to produce energy that is studied in respiration. Okay. What is endosperm? Okay, that you will come to know when you come to know. Okay, what is endosperm? Okay. You know what is seed? Someone is asking what is endosperm. Sandeep, do you know what is seed? Seed, seed is in which the baby plant embryo lives. And for that baby some reserve food is there. So baby can eat that food. So the food which is present in the seed for the baby plant that is called as endosperm. So when you are eating maize, actually what you are eating is the endosperm. Achha, you have, uh, do you eat coconut? In coconut, what you eat is the endosperm. So that food was basically for the baby of the endosperm, of the coconut. But you eat that food, endosperm. Okay? I don't think tomorrow there is a class for you. No, no. I am just giving you a basic of what books you require, what topics are there. Okay. Now I am going to tell you one more thing. Someone was saying, sir, uh, yesterday you told what is taxonomy. Please again tell what is taxonomy. Uh, children, weightage marks of lesson no one can say because every year this weightage changes. Sometimes they may give more question from one chapter. Other next year they may give weight from other. So we have to study all chapters equally with equal emphasis okay okay we have to study with ha huh, just let us come back to this okay so remember yesterday i said that we classify group organisms according to their common character so we can study okay and this study is called as taxonomy so for taxonomy what you will do we will first describe an organism, okay, description. Then we will, on the basis of this, we will identify. After the identification, we will do classification where it has to be put. And for that, we have to give it a name. So let us see here. See here. Characterization means describing the character of organisms. Characterization means describing the character of organism. After characterization, we will identify which organism we are calling about. For that, we will compare it with another organism which we already know. Okay? Then, we will come to know in which group we have to place this organism. This is classification. But before placing in the group, we have to give it a name. And giving scientific name of the organism is nomenclature. And this all are the parts of taxonomy. Is it clear now, children? What is taxonomy? Is it clear? Uh, someone is asking how Crips. No, it is not Crips cycle. It is Krebs cycle. Someone is asking how Krebs cycle is similar to both plants and animals. Because both plants and animals are living beings. Both plants and animals oxidize their food to get energy. And for oxidizing the food to get energy, this cycle is involved. So since both are using oxygen to oxidize the food, that is why both have this common cycle. 
Krebs cycle will study later. It is a method of oxidizing food to get energy. What is there if no classification is done? Then you it will be difficult for you to study the organism because you know nothing about that organism. Okay. Fine. Okay. Now, children, I'm uh, now for few few time uh, for few minutes. Just uh, stop your questions. I want to tell you one thing more. Okay. Hmm. Now, every glycolysis Krebs cycle are not menus that we can be explained in one minute, two minute. For that, when you will come to the class, it will be explained very properly. What is glycolysis? What is Krebs cycle? Because each one requires at least one hour of teaching. So it is not that I can explain you glycolysis in two minutes or uh, Krebs cycle in one minute. Okay. These are huge topics. Okay. Okay, children. So what uh, I want to say now, listen one thing. Suppose you, you there is your name. You live in a family. So your name and you live in a family. And your family lives in a <coughs> colony. So you, your family, your colony. And your colony is in a city. So a city is bigger than the colony. Your, the first colony is bigger than your family. And the city is bigger than your colony. And then your colony is in a state. Suppose uh, so your city is in a state. Suppose Andhra Pradesh. Okay. The state is bigger than your colony and then your state is in a country, for example, India. So country will be bigger than your state and your country is in a continent, suppose Asia. So the continent will be bigger than the country and these continents are ultimately in the universe. So you see this hierarchy, you, above you is your family, above your family is your colony. Above your colony is your city, above your city is your state, above your state is your continent and above all is the universe in which you live. Understood this point? Okay, understood this point. Similarly, when we do classification of plants, we follow the same hierarchy. Okay, similarly, when we do classification of plants, we follow the same hierarchy. Let us try to see this children. See here. This is you, your genus and species. Okay. Suppose you are a human being. So your genus is Homo and your species is Sapiens. So genus Homo, your species Sapiens. Above genus is your family. We all human beings belong to a family called as Hominidae. Okay. Is it clear? Now, a group of many families form an order. So our order is primata. We are primates. Okay. So many related orders form a class. We belong to class mammalia. Okay. We human beings belong to class mammalia. And this class mammalia upper belongs to a phylum chordata. Phylum chordata means which have a, a backbone. And this above this is the kingdom and we all belong to kingdom animalia. So if we study the hierarchy of human beings, name of the species sapien, name of the genus homo, name of the family hominidae, name of the order diptera, name of the class mammalia, name of the <coughs> phylum chordata and name of the kingdom animalia. Okay. Ha. Huh. Very good. Someone is saying that keep pot clean Otherwise, family gets sick. You can remember that way. Keep pot clean. Otherwise, family gets sick. Okay. You, if you wish, you can remember that way. No problem. So let us see, children. Some more organisms have been classified this way. Let us try to see this. See here. Can you see this chart? Okay. So see, as I said, common name man, 
बायोलॉजिकल नेम होमो सैपियंस नेम ऑफ द जीनस इज होमो फैमिली होमिनिडी ऑर्डर प्राइमेटा क्लास मैमिलिया एंड फाइलम हाँ रिमेंबर हियर एट दिस लेवल फॉर एनिमल्स वी यूज द टर्म फाइलम and for plants we use the term division that is why phylum oblique division is written so if you are classifying a plant it we it, it will be called as division and if you are classifying an animal then it will be called as phylum this is clear to everyone ha huh, this is ncert book this is 11th ncert book i don't go beyond ncert book okay okay i'll try i'll try to send a qr code okay let us take one more example house fly okay when you eat uh, mamidi kaya na when you eat mamidi kaya what happens flies come or they don't come to share your mamidi kaya okay they come na so those are called as the house flies okay okay house flies so this house fly scientific name is musca domestica domestic means something which lives in house okay for example you say that dog it is a domestic animal while tiger is a wild animal so domestic means something which lives in home so this is generally found in home that is why called as musca domestica that is why children i said scientific names are given according to the characters and behaviors that is why they are scientifically correct since scientists saw that this fly is generally found in our home that is why they named it as musca domestica name of the genus is musca family is called musidae musidae family order is called diptera it may found very difficult to you but it will not be difficult when you study okay class since it is an insect it is called as insecta and phylum arthropoda Arthro means jointed, poda means leg. So if you will see insect, their legs are made up of many joints. Okay. So since the legs have many joints, they are called as arthropoda. Arthro means jointed, poda means legs. Fine, clear. Now let us see your favorite mango. So scientific name you already know, Mangifera indica. Mangifera is the name of the genus. Okay. Family of mango is Anacardiaceae. Order is Sapindales. Class Dicotyledony because it has two cotyledons. And phylum is called Angiosperms. Plants that produce flower are called as flowering plants or Angiosperms. So it is not that all plants produce flower. Even algae is also plant, but they don't produce flower. so angiosperm term is only for those plant that produce flower flowering plants are called as angiosperms okay okay ha huh. gymnosperms produce cones they don't produce flower so gymnosperms are not flowering plants they produce cones flower is produced only by angiosperms okay understood opporenoz gymnosperms are not flowering plants they they produce cone flowering plants are only angiosperms that produce flower and see the last one wheat scientific name we have already said triticum astivum name of the genus is triticum family is called poaceae family poaceae family order is called poales class is monocotyledony because they have only one cotyledon and they also produce flower so that is why their division is also angiosperms okay clear ha when you will come to class children this all will be taught to you in the class and you will remember okay i'm just giving you a basic introduction what you will study okay no flower of wheat what you are eating in the wheat is basically the fruit that was earlier flower so flower ultimately forms fruit so in wheat the grain you see that is basically the fruit and that fruit has been produced from flower the ears of the wheat that you see those are nothing but flowers flower always does not mean large bright okay 
ओके फाइन See, these are the flowers of wheat. Each one is a flower. That's what I said. I don't think that every flower is bright colored. Flowers may be small also. They may be pale colored also. Okay. Division is for plants and phylum is for animals. Division is for plants, phylum is for animals. Okay? Genus is bigger than a species. A genus may have more than one species. For example, there is a genus called Solenum. This Solenum genus has two, three species. Solenum tuberosum, that is potato. Solenum melongena, that is brinjal. So, uh, Genus is bigger than the species. A genus may have more than one species. For example, genus is Panthera. Now this Panthera genus has tiger also, lion also and leopard also. Panthera leo, lion. Panthera tiger is tiger. Panthera pardus, okay, leopard, fine. So these are the many flowers. Each one is one flower of wheat. So is it clear that wheat has flowers? Okay, fine. So now children, yesterday we said we will discuss about some of the scientific names of fruits. Do you have any confusion in yesterday what we did about vegetables? Huh. A very good question children. Someone is asking potato is a tuber and brinjal is a fruit. How they belong to same family. Better you see edible part are different. Okay. In, uh, of course in potato we eat the underground stem and in brinjal we eat the fruit. But when you will see the type of flower in them. The flowers have almost same feature. When you will see that other, other features they are exactly similar. Edible part is different no doubt about it. But edible part is something commercial. What we do is something scientific. Okay. Because it that way, that way, sweet potato and, pot, and potato should be together because we in both we eat the underground part. But sweet potato is a root and potato is a stem. Okay. So edible part may be different. What we see is the how is the type of flower, how is the type of plant and on that basis we do this classification. Okay, so we can do one thing, we can do one thing children, that today we will see those vegetables, plants which are in your, in your um, uh, syllabus, okay. For example, if we come to Solonesi family, all three important ones I have given you the scientific name. Potato, tomato, brinjal. I have given you the scientific names. What is the scientific name of potato? Or biological name of potato? Uh, 
Uh, someone is asking solenum tuberosum. Very good. Solenum tuberosum. Very good. What about so solenum tuberosum? Tomato. Ah, I will tell you. Lyco persicon esculentum. Okay. Now you see some people have written solenum lyco persicon and other have written like why pollination can't occur between uh, potato and brinjal beta this you will study when you will come here we can we, when you will study because pollination is successful even only when their chromosome compositions are similar so this is something technical you will study okay okay and this is solenum melongena solenum Melongena. Now you see when we wrote the name of the potato, uh, the tomato, some people wrote solenum lycopersicon, some wrote lycopersicon esculentum. Children, this is a, still a debate point. This is still a debate point because earlier it, it was thought that tomato is a different genus than the name lycopersicon esculentum. But some scientists think that tomato is also a species of the solenum. So solenum lycopersicon, but we will follow this one. Lycopersicon esculentum we will follow according to our NCRT. Tomato and potato are different genus. Okay. Ha ah, yes, bilkul. Potato and brinjal are of same genus. Their species are different. Okay, their species are different. Okay, fine. Now let us see. Garden pea. This is called as Pisum Setivum. Okay. Okay. Now let us see some fruits. So fruits we, we are starting with mango only. Mangifera. Indica. Then apple. Pyrus Malus Okay, then orange, citrus sinensis, yeah, Haan, apple is children, someone is saying apple is a false fruit, yes. Because children, the actual fruit is that develops from the ovary of the flower. 
So mango is a true fruit because what we eat has been developed from the ovary of the flower. But apple in what we eat, it develops from the basal part of the flower which is called as thalamus. So in apple what we are eating is not the ovary. That is why apple is called as a false fruit. While mango we are eating the ripened ovary. That is why mango is a true fruit. Okay. Because the basal part of the flower, which is called thalamus, it becomes solid and it stores food. That is why we eat it. This is how it is possible. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Green apple name also same. Okay. Then arati kaya. What is the scientific name of arati kaya? Grapes. Vitis vinifera. Then banana. Musa paradisica. Ha, paradisicum some book side, but paradisica it is fine. Okay? Fine. Any other fruit you like? Pineapple. Ananas. Comosus. Anji, watermelon, oh my god, watermelon, citula, lanatus, green apple is same as apple, okay. Guava, Sidum, Guajava, Strawberry. Rubus. Okay, so we have made a good fruit chart. Okay. Okay. We have made a good fruit chart. What more we can add? So we can add some pomegranate, acha, pomegranate. Simple, punica granatum.
okay so children these are some okay uh, musk melon uh, is a cucumus mellow watermelon musk melon then uh, cucumber they all belong to the same family which is called as cucurbitaceae family uh, bottle gourd all gourds bottle gourd bitter gourd they all belong to the same family okay papaya the scientific name is also papaya the scientific name of papaya is also papaya okay ha huh, jackfruit uh, jackfruit just uh, let me remember jackfruit is the mm, i'm just just slipping i'll just tell you sometimes words slip carrot i have told you carrot is daucus carota i told you carrot okay Uh, rubus they are asking species the rubus has more than one species there are many species okay grapes i told you vitis vinifera kiwi i don't know and dragon fruit i don't know the ha this i remember arto carpus integrifolia okay okay so children that's all for today enjoy your saturday evening okay which is your favorite serials which you watch which are the favorite serials do you watch as ipl oh nowadays ipl is going on so ipl is the biggest attractant very good okay okay our uh, different people have different liking okay but ipl is the most common one ipl yes 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 your favorite is rcb okay okay and how many how many are the fans of mumbai indians ha ah, one fan okay ha ah, csk i also like i like csk because of dhoni i am a great fan of dhoni okay okay ha ah, rohit is also good but they have removed rohit from captaincy that is why i don't like am i know anymore okay okay children bye see you it was nice so enjoy your sunday tomorrow again we'll meet on monday god bless you okay